Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Green Raven here. Alright, so I'm kind of sort of back. I'm back into doing Let's Plays again. And uh, today, let's do uh, <coughs> more Hammer Quest. Alright, um, it's been about a year since I last played, so let's see what we've got to work with here. Hmm. Page, RXP, Daytime. Alright, pretty decent uh, crowd. Alright, uh, let's see what I have more for judgment. Mighty swing. Hmm. Wallfire, not bad, not bad. Oh, watch all saying, I'm not crazy, I'm not Okay. Not bad, not bad. Healing Mist, very good. Berserk. Alright. And away we go. Um, What level is our party? One, two, one, 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 one. One, one, oh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Oh, I see preferential treatment to, uh, Nat. Yes, well. Um, alright, let us go and rescue the thief. And do we, we go. Alright, who do we want to put in this battle? Um, hmm. Well, we don't, we don't need to be putting that in here anymore. Um, hmm. Let's put in Frosty. Um, Cage. Hmm. <clears throat> Tigsy and. Actually, no. Let's put me in the hair. Me, Tigsy, for us, and someone to, uh, out in the back. What the hell? Let's put J10 in, shall we? And do we, we go. <clears throat> Rescue the thief. Oh, I guess there's no, um, uh, no monologue part, or monologue, uh, thing. The words, the words. All right. Uh, just berserk. All right. All right, so let's get the party set up. And do we, we go. I shall lead the way. Being ever so brave and, uh, humble-ish. Alright. ba da da dum bum 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 ba dum Oh news! Giant bats. I got this. Smash. Alright. Tiggy's up next. Bad Tiggy. Good Tiggy. Frosty, I don't think he'll be able to do much. Yeah, he doesn't even have enough to cast a basic, uh, basic spell. Alright, that's cool. Is cool. J Tan Sunbe. Um, can we, uh. There we go. There we go. Um, spellcasters are pretty rough at the beginning of the game. They can 
they can barely do anything, as you can see. So, yeah. Yeah, Tiggy's gone crazy. And I do shmoo, not smash. Frosty knows just enough for two shadow de daggers. Nice. Gold coins. Cha-ching! Alright. I shall lead the way, being the stoic heroic leader type. Alright. Spiders. All right, we got this. Smash. And G neither J10 nor Frosty can do anything on the spell casting thing. See, that's kind of a thing, though. Um, it's it's literally. Well, not literally, but it, it's pretty hard for them to, um, for spellcasters to get some experience early on. They don't have enough mana to cast the spells to make them good. It's chicken and the egg thing. Aw, oh, shit. Alright. Cut. There we go. That's how you make, uh, pro game experience. Actually, let's do a mighty swing, shall we? Thud. That was a failure. That was a huge, gigantic failure. <clears throat> and I'm webbed it, 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 it. Now, Frosty's gonna have an easy time getting experience because. Well, he would if he had uh, healing. Healing's like the one way you, um. No, you know, you don't really need to. Mesh. And J10 also does not have magic. Chicken and the egg, man. Chicken and the egg. Alright, Tiggy. Go nuts. I said go nuts. Rawr. All right, and I can't do shit. That's cool. That's cool. That's totally cool. <gasps> Frosty has enough for us heals. All right, who's in more dire need of health? Um, we're all actually at nine health, huh? Um, let's heal me, shall we? I'm gonna be vain. There we go. Smite. I said smite. You know, it's just... You know, I think he's gonna wait this one out. Frosty and j really need the experience. So... Slashy slashy! Nya, 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 nya. Amethyst. Amethyst. The words just do not come when I'm... I'll play... Uh, Oh my god. The words just did not come when I'm LPing. Alright. Um, what does this nifty hat do? Hmm, what power? Negative one toughness! Boo! Boo! I mean, someone like a barbarian can take it, but, um... Alright. Alrighty, right. 
I shall lead the way. Follow me, mortals. Alright. Uh, does... Yes, he does. He does indeed. I uh, gotta keep our other front line warrior up. Okay. Alright. So yeah, uh, um, <clears throat> spellcasters have a tough time getting experience early on because they don't have enough mana to cast any other spells. But out of all of them, the uh, Shadow Wizard is it? What is this? What is this damn thing? Grey Wizard. He's the easiest one to get experience with because he has heals. Everyone always likes heals. So, Ken has heals now. And he can heal again. Very, very nice. Uh, both are 12. Uh, but we should probably heal him too. Heal the healer. Uh, Jaytan can actually cast a spell, but there's no point in casting it. Giant bats. Alright, um, we'll give J10 the first swing. Die. Come on, J10, you could do better than that. Eh, mm, let's see who needs the experience more, shall we? Tiggy's at half, and I'm almost. Ah, you know what, fuck it. Preferential treatment. I. Alright, you go ahead. Yeah! And if only J10 had uh, enough mana. Oh well. Does he? Yes, he does! Zap! Yeah, bandages! Woo! Gotta get them bandages. Um. Yeah, let's give Tiggy a third one. Can never have too many bandages. All right, George, running into battle, into danger. I always hate these kind of hallways because they do this. My OCD is not happy when the party's broken. Not happy at all. Heels. Ooh, very, very nice one. The warriors come across a halfling blindly. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. Alright. The warriors encounter a halfling blindly wandering the passages of the dungeon. He seems pleased to see the warriors and immediately suggests stopping for some lunch. From his pack, he produces rations that an upmarket tavern would be proud to serve. Um, 20 minutes. Nom 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 nom. And we get interrupted. Bad goblins. Bad. Frosty? Almost at him. Mmm, so close. Tiggy, come on. Yeah. Alright. I guess I'll have to finish this with a smashy. Smashy, smashy! Alright, now... Frosty should... be able to... zap them to death. Zap! Yeah! Tiggy! We're counting on you, boy. Yeah! That's how you do it, boys and girls. That's how you do it. Alright. And that will take up all Frosty's move points, unfortunately. But we could use the heals uh, anyways. Since we're at the beginning of the uh, game, this should be... Wow, this is a pretty... Uh, this is a quote-unquote long dungeon for um, for the beginning of the game. And I shall lead the chariot. Yep, there we go. 
finish that up. Uh, your warriors enter what appears to be some ad hoc dungeon prison. They seem a bit... They see at the back of the room a cage, and within it, someone motionless. The warriors are unable to determine the condition of the prisoner, or if it is, indeed, in fact, the thief. Before they can investigate, you are surrounded by enemies. Orc boys. Boys. Alright. Whoa, I've never seen an orc boy before, apparently, on this let's play. Okay, that's cool. Alright, and we should charge headlong into battle. Green smash! Almost smashed, apparently. Whoa, Tiggy miss! Tiggy cut! J10 does not have enough for anything. And Frosty... Oh, just went off from using shit. See the thing about uh, shadow daggers? It's a um, it's it's a uh, close combat spell. They have to be next to you. And shadow bolt is a long distance, and he does not. Okay, that's cool. That's totally cool. That's fine. Oof. Now, as a quick reminder to myself, more than anyone. We are playing on, um, on, um, Hardcore, so all deaths are finals. No receipts. No refunds. No receipts also. Oh, yeah. Tiggy. 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 Yeah. Um. Oh, well, he can heal, I guess. Heals are always nice and important. Alright. And we are ready to take on the orc. The last orc. Oof. You know what? Let's give the honor to, um... To no one. I shall finish the job. Smash! After your warriors slay the remnants of the beast, they quickly rush over to the body in the small cell. They quickly identify that to be that that it is indeed the thief. Tigsy the beast bashes the primitive cell lock and clumsily rips the door off its hinges. The motionless body in the cell suddenly springs to life and sits up. Your warriors get the impression that the prisoner is rather an unsavory sort. He's not thankful in the slightest for his rescue, and he looks at you with annoyance. I could have gotten out of there myself, you know. He mumbles as he makes his way out to the exit. AKA Page. I don't need your help. But we have rescued him all the same. You are victorious. Alright, spells of war. Bada bing, bada ooh. Noise. I, Tiggy, and J10 are all ready for level ups. So, that is exactly what we shall do. And we have discovered a new area. New settlement discovered. Verden. Alright, wow, seriously, we only have uh, one, two, three, four areas discovered? Sheesh. Alright. Let us visit the town of Verden. Verden. I do believe uh, I'm reading these in a bad German accent. I still remember that much. Verden. Baby! Baby! Oh, it's my damn dog. Sorry about the buzzer. Baby! 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 Knock it off! Knock it off! It's my damn dog. Ugh. Anyways. Guards for hire. Warden Verden is a town as poor as the province it lies in. Tattered banners of green and yellow, the cars of Sterland, draped from the buildings, and the soldiery, sol soldiery that grand the oh my god the words. The guard the town's dilapidated walls are armed with rusty blades. More than a few eye up the weapons of your party with envious glances. <laughs> 
The warriors are soon spotted by a gentleman dressed in too fine attire to be a local. He raises his plumped hat in greeting. Strangers too, eh? They are not a very trusting lot, which makes them terrible customers. He says and expansively gestures to the townsfolk around town. I was headed south to richer pickings in Everland. I sent my caravan of wares ahead, but the brigands I'd hired as guards betrayed me and have stolen my goods. They even have the gall to send a ransom demand, demanding gold for all the return of the caravan. The fools are too lazy to sell the stock themselves. The merchant cr uh, crushes a piece of paper with his hand, presumably the ransom demand. I haven't the funds with me here, but I'd like to secure your services. If you can find my caravan and bring it back to this god's forsaken town, I'll reward you. Do with the thieves of you as you please. Crush their skulls for all I care. Alright. We got a quest. <clears throat> but, first things first, we are going to town selling junk and food we don't need. Uh, ooh la la. We cannot afford this. Alright, we do have uh, people ready for um, one, two, one, 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 one. Let's see the adventures go real quick. Most of us are one. Uh, slave is level two. Nat's level three. Preferential treatment cause boobs. But we shall be changing that very soon. Um, J10 is ready for a level up. 200 gold. Alright. Let's see what Lady Luck has in store for us, shall we? Ooh, dual magics. Like the Grey Wizard, the Archmage attempts to drop power from the magic winds each turn during the power phase. Unlike the Grey Wizard, the Archmage is able to channel two schools of magic, an offensive, one offensive, one defensive. When drawing power in the power phase, the Archmage will receive either offensive defensive power <clears throat> and only spells from the school will be available for the turn. The Archmage also has a power reserve which can be used when needed. Reserve is automatically used when available if casting spells that cost more power than the wind the winds have provided and can be used to cast offensive or defensive. Use this power wisely. It does not replenish inside dungeons. Alright now the big question is Lady Luck what has she in store for us? Okay, he's got more health. That's nice. P power store went from 0 to 4. So now he has automatically 4 mana. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! As a level 2 spell, oh my god. J10 is now MVP. M-V-fucking-P. This is one of the best spells that the Archmage can possibly have. This heals the entire group. See, all the other healing spells, they only heal one person, maybe one person adjacent to them, and they have to be seen. Like, you have to actually physically see who you're healing. Like, you have to select them. With this spell, the spell works automatically. It doesn't matter if your party is on the other side of the map and you cannot see them. It does not matter. When you cast the spell, MV fucking P, everyone gets healed. Amazing. Way to go, J10. Way to go. You are now going to be the most useful party member. And now... Each warrior is... Uh, yeah, okay. And now I shall attempt to level up. Alright. What does Lady Luck have in store for me? Let's play the level up game. Bum bum bum. Strength went up by 1, toughness up by 1, health went up by 5, pretty good for level 2. Head Crusher, the Ogre attempts to aim mighty blow to the target skull, critical hits 3 4 times a day. Eh. Okay, okay, it's, th this isn't a bad, sp this isn't, oh, this isn't a spell, it's an ability, but it's not bad, but I would have preferred something else. This is, this is good, but the Ogre's biggest problem is, um, missing. So this spell, it will do massive amounts of damage if it connects. But there's still the inherent ogre's problem of missing. 
So, anyways, uh, I do believe that will uh, that will call it a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna call it a wrap. Bye bye.